Hi, GDQ Games Committee. I'm Peace Egg, and I'm joined by Flannel Cat and Punch Muffin. And we're here to show you a trio's easy run of This is a Ghost. We'll be going through all these small and medium maps. We'll be leaving the large one off because it's a bit of a, a, a bit of a clunker of a map. Although we might have it as a, an incentive if you would like. But the basis of this game is it's a lot like Phasmophobia, except now we also exorcise the ghost. We're gonna get into this house. We're gonna get into a bunch of houses like this. We're gonna try and figure out what the ghost is doing, what kind of behaviors it has. We're gonna narrow it down between one of 15 types of ghosts with one of three types of behaviors. <laughs> Lost, which is likes to be grabby. Residual, it just likes to mind its own business. Or vengeful, it wants to slap us across the face. So with that said, Flannel Cat, Punch, are you ready to go? Hi, I'm Flannel Cat, and I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. All right. Let's go. All right. We will start the splits and go through all five of the small medium maps in just a minute. Here we go. I'm going to start the timer when we load into the first map. And then from there, it's going to run until I get into the bike on the final map. We use motorcycles to go to and from. Yeah, once you're done with the mission, you just run to your bike and start it up. No more vans. There we go. Time has started. So we start every run usually by going into night vision mode. This is where you get your first pieces of evidence pretty easily. There I is see. a potential of a cursed object around the map. It kind of has you a weird glow children. in night vision. Yeah. And you can also see orbs only in night vision. So if we can check these and get these out of the way first thing, it's usually for the best. You might also notice that we turned off the power for the house. That's because the ghost, if it has power on in a house, it tends to be a little more aggressive whenever it turns on light switches, turns things on in the house. It tends to stir up activity. And activity in this game is kind of a double-edged sword. It's good to an extent, but also if it gets up too high, the ghost will start to hunt aggressively. It will start hacking away at us and it will end a run very quickly. It's also the reason why we're only walking around the house. These ghosts hate running. Oh, we got EMF5 already. Nice. I don't even know what this um, is from. I don't, yeah, yeah I don't I know, but I'm, I'm very into it. That is interesting and terrifying all the same. So many emotions it's all at one light time. Switch, mm -hmm. I think. Oh, the light, light switch. switch. That explains that. Could you check out UV if you don't mind? Oh, there's I did. No there are. Uh, so we're checking UV because there's a chance for fingerprints on any sort of light switch book hit or uh, door hit. Oh, I'll put LSS and, down. Uh, Sweet. LSS is evidence. this game's version of dots. Motion sensors are not evidence when they light up, but they're a good way to track where the ghost is. The ghost is always on the map, and it's always able to be interacted with if we want to start, like, blastoing it with weapons. The thing is, though, you don't really find it most of the time unless it just decides to appear. But like right nice. here, the ghost was right there because I saw it trigger that motion sensor. Did I need to do that? No, but that's just more of an example. The ghost can move around the house invisibly. It's always around there. It can go outside. It can generally go wherever it wants. And so it's our job to kind of keep track of where it is so that we can get evidence from it and also I can't find this ghost room. Where its favorite room is, along with what it is. Oh, living room. All that stuff. Or hallway. Oh, I think it's hallway, actually. Oh, and oh, it's... Oh, I just, yep. I just saw the residual... It's uh, hallway. Yeah. So the smoldering here you see in night vision is a sign that this is the favorite room. That's kind of the ghostly apparition oh. sign. EMF5 it's there. again? You also saw, like, a gray shadow there. That's a sign the behavior is residual, which means it's just wandering about. It's minding its own business. So I'm looking here. I don't see an orb here. Can anybody else confirm? I see none orb. I did not okay. see an orb either. Okay, so I'm going to cross off orb, and I also want to cross off cursed object because none of us saw that. Um, it, once we see a cursed object, we'll call it out. But otherwise, we have the favorite room, so we know the ghost is mostly going to kind of hang out around here. It'll wander <laughs> off at times, but the yeah, it's been there. It wrote yes. mysterious. That's its type of death. For the purposes no, of no this one, on it. Sorry. we don't care about it. Yeah, I got that too. Um, we don't care about the death and the details of what it is. Are you if friendly? You're playing this game for money. What are you doing You want to care about that stuff because it's super are you important. Here? Uh, are you here? Somewhere? 
Not in master? Two on something over here. Okay. Oh, it wrote outside? Or no, never mind. Blood, but... Oh, it drew? It drew, okay. It drew. So drawing the door is no evidence. Yeah. Oh, oh, and it drew on the, it put it, it's date in the bathroom. Okay, that's what I heard then. Okay, so we have no orb, no cursed object. We have drawing. Okay, it was guaranteed to be drawing. We should have guaranteed <laughs> fingerprints as well. It's between Kappa and Ifrit, or Ifrit, I guess. Should be LSS or voices. Where uh, where did this draw? Uh, Drew in the master bedroom. And you can see the ghost kind of haunted me there a little bit. Where was that? And yeah, it confirmed. Oh, there's, LSS there's happened. LSS. Nice. Yeah, so you saw the green apparition just run by me. That's LSS or the dots, the connect, whatever you want to call it. We now know this ghost is an Ifrit because we saw the gray silhouette early. We know it's residual, so we can craft our shotgun shells, which are our main weapon for combating the ghost, to five. properly exercise it. Yeah, we have five already. Crafting? Oh, we double up five now. Okay. Um, okay, so crafting is for all of us. If one person crafts, all of us get the bullets. So those bullets are shared amongst the team. We're going to put down a rune. It's uh, We have selenite in our shells. And we're going to try and call the ghost over to step in this room. It's already... Where is he going? Um, oh, bye, buddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did you see that? I have that never seen that happen before in my life. That, is that was very, very strange. Yes. The ghost is supposed to spin in place, but it decided to do its wandering animation there. This is an independent game made we're by one developer. We're recording for our happen. potential speed run to send in, so I may not... Oh, there we go. That's what you're supposed to see when you get it correct. Nice. Let's gone. go. Good ghost. So once we get rid of it and it explodes into that shower of gold sparkles, I run to our bikes and we shoot the neighbors. You can do that if you want. I don't like what you're doing here, ma'am. I'm gonna get to my bike to run. Yeah. So ideally, if in a perfect setup, someone would be stationed over by How the goes? motorcycles. How goes it? And uh, so they could get us out immediately once yep. um once we know the ghost and we are shooting at it. So we're now going to move on to Finch Farm. I love this map. Then burp map. For the purposes of this video, we'll probably be showing what's going on with the ghost instead of mm -hmm. having Trace run straight to the uh, exit. Yeah, uh, like I could run and hang there, but ideally for a one perspective video, that's not so much fun. You just see me hanging by the bikes near the end and then you'd hear an explosion of confetti. That used to I'll be the check ghost. upstairs. Sounds good. Um, I do see a cursed object in the workshop. I'm going to head over there. So you see the white glow on this hard hat here. That's what the cursed objects look like in night vision. You can only see this in night vision. I right click it to confirm it's a cursed object. And if I go out outside night vision, it just looks like a normal hard hat. Blocks but upstairs. I can assure you, it's cursed. And that's an evidence. So, I've got okay. stuff just tentatively placed around the house right now. Back Sounds door, uh, kitchen door, and stairs. Okay. Thank you much. I have... And just to clarify on the cursed object, to our knowledge, there is no correlation between the ghost room where the ghost likes to hang out and where the cursed object is. It can just be anywhere around the precipice of the area. Yeah, for this opening bit, finding that ghost room is super integral. And um, yeah. you'll see us like closing doors behind us to try to promote, uh, provoke a ghost door hit, stuff like that. And uh, putting down some motion sensors to try to give us a, a sense of where the ghost likes to hang out. Which exactly. I believe is covered. But... Yeah, we have like three sensors we can use in any way. These are one of the best I'm ways to track where the ghost out is. I'm so it's far. Outside somewhere. Okay. I'm outside, Sounds I'm good. not seen too much. Do you know if it's out back or out front? I'm trying to use the dots on the EMF reader, which is a rough thing sometimes. I see nothing on it now. So we have this EMF sensor, and that's what Kat's referring to. It gives us kind of like an alien-like reference to what's okay. being interacted with. It gives us dots based on whether interactives have been recently hit. Chickba, or, how goes it, Mellow? You know, there's something that's going on. We can kind of locate it. It's hard to read, but once you get a mastery of like reading where the interactions are happening and get a good idea of what it can interact with, you can kind of run over to, hey, it's probably hit something over here and B, 
generally mostly right. Oh, sorry. I think we touched that at the same time. I can't believe you'd shove a door in my face. I <laughs> mean... Blood in the bathroom. There sure blood doesn't is. do anything for uh for the run, but it is... Just it's money. there for, just for free money. It's a we photo have, to take. We have smoldering outside, for the record. Nice! By okay. the tire on the tree. I had a feeling. I kept popping up there, but nothing was yeah. going on. Yep, according to the map, that is the garden. Yep. Which, again, is not crucial for our run to mark that down, but it's extra money, and... It helps no us figure out where to set things up. Don't think yeah, I haven't seen an orb these. either. I'll take a look around. I'm gonna get the book and get our our uh, devices. Yes, yeah, thank you. Good. Yeah, because I don't come in there. Uh, where did we put the book? It the should book be right is... next to the other devices in the hallway. I threw it right in the middle. Oh, I see it. Yep. Yeah, the book being a mobile writing spot that also can Are give you, you EMF and several other pieces. Are of, you here? Uh, Give you EMF and give you fingerprints. Where are you? It's a writing thing. Mm -hmm. uh, are you it here? Is invaluable to Where try are to you? provoke evidence, especially fingerprints, when there's no doors around. Where are you? The unique thing about so this game. Oh, uh, are you one here? Sec, here's our ghost. Nice. We got Samara. Are today. you here? Yeah, we have Samara. I did not EMF read that. I'm Where sorry are about you? that. But oh, we have footsteps as well. Footprints. Good. Right there. So add that to our evidence and that was oh, a guaranteed thing anyway yeah, so that's fine or on something yeah i think it's the footprints um are you here the book is something you find in every map it where is are you just there innately and you have to find it and drag it out wherever where are you all the equipment we get we don't purchase any of it are you it's here given to us by default some of it is given to us just for our own use like the camera are you here? the pistol and the shield all where are the you photos are for our money the gun and the shield are, Where are for defense. You? The rest of stuff is, is marked for its group. Sweet time. That's all detection Where equipment are you? that we share amongst one another. We can't buy anything more for that. We simply Can you get make the same a noise? amount for every map. Can you make a noise? Map. I'm gonna go yeah, ask for the door. What you're witnessing right now is the downfall of the, um, the outdoor Can you ghost, open the door? it tends to not do much. Mm -hmm. Can you open the door? It is a problem. Oftentimes, there's can you so much the door? range you can run around here. It could be just can hanging out in the a door? random corner of this yard, just chilling. Can you open and the door? we would not be able to detect it until it actually decides to walk over Show here yourself. and interact with anything here, which Ooh. is only a chance. Can you open the door? What'd you find, Punch? Oh, it, I just triggered it because I can said you show open yourself. The door? And I'm like, oh, great, we're going to get okay. blasted. <laughs> Can you open the so, door? So, for the record, below my timer there, you see global activity and kind of a heart. Can you meter. open the door? Right now, that's at 9. Now it's gone up to 10. That's on a scale of 1 to 100. Can you make a noise? Most ghosts will hunt Can you above make a noise? 50. Usually 60 Can you make a above. noise? The more we taunt the ghost, the more it interacts Where are you? with things, the higher that goes. The are you more here? It is taking its time. Get. It kind of I don't know what you're doing here. And oh, voices? You can agitate the ghost by talking. Oh, we have voices. Voices, nice. yes. Something. All right, so Wraith, you're a poltergeist. Oh, I hear that. I'm on it. I'm on it. It's the go, go, chair. go. I believe in you. Won't be fingies. Two. Two, okay. Won't so it rocked the chair. Gosh. Yeah, so EMF5, laser, or drawing. Are you here? Are you here? Where are you? So that means we don't have to here. look around as hard are you? for fingerprints on UV, which is good. It's immortal. But also, where are you? It's okay. Got it. So it where are you? Cause of death in the book. We have any Are book. you here? Mm, two. Good call. I forgot to check that. Some of the deaths are kind of disturbing. Are you friendly? So we like using pet names for him, like uh, immortality instead what are you of doing uh, here? immolation. Yep. Are you here? And you'll see us refer to it like that Where are you? because, yeah, it's, it, referring to somebody's death is just more of it. It's not fun. Where are you? Where are you? Well, Where are you? Uh, we're just going to antagonize the ghost. Are you here? It is yeah. taking its sweet time. Are you here? We're down to three, so we don't want to try to take, like, 50 50s yet. No, mm -hmm. we can't with three of them. Are you here? Hello. Yeah, we Where don't have you? the behavior type either, so that... Out of three, we Where have are another you? three types. That'd be nine possible options, mm -hmm. which is rough, especially given. Where are you? You see, there's like a pentagram are icon you here? in the lower right. That's how many runes we are have. Are you here? That traps the ghost. 
If it's right, it spins are and you drains here? its hit points. If it's wrong, it breaks Where out. Are it's you? angry and it's strong. We have five of Where those, are you? so we want to use two or three of those to here? defeat the ghost. So we can only really get it wrong twice before are you here? we start to hurt our chances. Nice. Are you here? Cat once again picking a spot where she where sees are you? where the ghost is and just throws a blast at it. Where are you? The the ghost. Generally sends it back to the. Uh, are you here? The ghost area. I would say room, but this is definitely a tree, and it's not really a room. But... <laughs> yeah. So if I look at the map, your garden covers a lot of space here. You can kind of see it's where just are you? This whole yard, and then the side yard even. It, the ghost can, can you be make anywhere a noise? around here. So Just sending it back to something. that is, this is one of the tougher situations you can be stuck in in this game. And can you all make our a voice noise? taunting you can see is sent it's us drawn, from about, It's uh, drawing inside. Nice. Oh, I see it. Yeah, you, you can kind of see through can the window. Can you make windows. a noise? Yuray. Yep, we have a Yuray. I'm going to go in just to show Yuray. off. Uh, Punch, if you want to craft. Can yes. you make a noise? I am crafting Perfect. right now. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, you can see there's a drawing here that you can kind of see through the window. Punch them. So yep. Put stuff on your feet. You're good. Thank you for the heads up, because that would have spooked me. And there we go. We have our Palo Santo shards, the piece of wood from what is rumored to be the original arc. Hello. I was calling it for many weeks, Are you the Palo friendly? Alto shard, not realizing that's a Are completely you friendly? different thing. So I think right I now we have two options. Friendly? We can wait for the ghost to go into the, uh, the Are you room, friendly? or we can start to antagonize it. Now the downside to antagonizing it is that its room is deep. It can be anywhere in the yard. Okay, we can see it's not residual. It did not spin there. I'm gonna put it as a calm vengeful. You know what? You want to go vengeful? vengeful yeah. Next. We've had some vengeful streaks as of late, so that's fine. Vengeful should attack us early, but oftentimes Are you here? ghosts just won't exhibit that behavior unless it's feeling in the mood to do Show an early yourself. attack. And so now we're in the waiting process. Hello. I'm going to start talking to it. How old are you? It's all auto text. Oh. Just broke that rune. That's some bad. It just drew inside too. Okay, I'm going to put. Okay. It has walked outside now. For the okay, cool. Where are you? Hello. Where are you? Where are you? Let me give it a little bit of a runway in. Oh, it broke dude. it again. Rude. We're down to two runes. This is actually quite bad. Are we thinking loss then? Um, maybe. We could go for loss if you think that's the issue here. If it broke two. I think it might. Right. Oh, but I honestly don't know. Yeah, uh, worth a shot. Let's go for loss. See if that changes anything. Allegedly, and this was based off a Hello. early guide when the game was relatively new. Where are you? Uh, the ghost can only break one room. There we go. There we right. go. Yeah, that is no Something longer true. Bad. It will break runes and have a high chance to break multiple runes. Oh, oh God. Oh, that's our last well, rune. Well, we'll still get her. Yeah, so now we are in a situation where this rune is going to do no good, unfortunately. So we have to rely on kind of our secondary strat here to get through. Um, we're going to have to find the ghost through motion sensing. Nice! And blast it like that. Hell Which, yeah. as you can see, it happens. That's absolutely how you can make this happen. You just got to know where to look and hope you can find the ghost. Yeah, and my bad. With I was worried be. we'd be there That's a okay. second. Um, but yeah, you have to fill out your journal and the behavior and the type of ghost to get a rune down. And if you have the wrong one in, right? then uh, Let's go. it will put the wrong rune down. It happens. The, the strategy I used there was to put two motion sensors in the hallway. So when it hit the first one, mm. I knew it was coming from that direction. Um, and I know when it touches the second, that's where it is. And that's my confirmation of what direction the ghost is moving. Because the ghost is more or less always moving around the map. It exists in the space. Um, now, lost are a little bit different. They can teleport, but for the most part, they always exist somewhere on the map, and they're moving around somewhere, even when they're invisible. Yep. So even though it could have teleported around, it's a safe bet that it will still hit motion sensors, so that tactic is extremely viable and super helpful. Motion sensors are a lifesaver in this game. 
I'll there is the one ghost in particular that basically negates your motion sensors, but we just hope we don't get that one. And if we do, we we lean on runes and use closed doors, and if it opens a door, it's probably moving in that direction. There's, there's little things we can tell here and there. Yep. I'll go upstairs, Punch, if you want to put yourself. a um, motion sensor in the garage door. I will love to do that. It is done. Awesome, thank you so much. I am upstairs. I think I heard. No, I didn't. I closed yeah, the door. If you may opening doors. That. Um, did you close the front door, Cat? Unsure. Okay, you did not, because it did not give an EMF signature. Okay, see your motion sensor here. That's good. I'm gonna check in here. I'm gonna grab the writing book, as stated earlier. The writing book is always in a part of the level. It never changes. At this point, it is always in the same spot in each map. You just got to go to that part of the map, grab the book, set it somewhere where the ghost is going to move around a lot. And the chances oh. of the ghost writing oh. something in it? We have three in a row new sensors on the thing. Okay. Every time. And it triggered oh, sensor sorry. three. Oops. Okay. Three. It's running in and out around three. Is that the garage? Yeah, um, I, it may be. That's two. So let's take a look at the numbers. Yeah, I two, think... and I set down one, so it's got to be the garage. Okay. Yeah, all the motion sensors now they light up when they're walked through. They have a number attached to them. So uh, you see that? Okay. okay. Gotcha. But you can see the uh, oh, the EMF little four in pop here. Up. Okay. The little pop-ups on the left side that say when motion sensors are triggered, we use that as major information once we know the numbers of which each one is to tell where the ghost is, kind of get an idea of where it's roaming. Because, yeah, they can wander around anywhere, but they can Oh, it's smoldering favor. in the garage. Got it. We're going to move the book into the garage. We throw it through doors. Oh, we got five. We even have five. Got nice. it. Um, I'm going to open the door and check the other side. Uh, no fingies. Okay. But we definitely have EMF5. Oh, where's our... Oh, okay. Cool. That works. Now, that said, I've been... Oh, oh it wrote its year of death. Right, I'm looking the... around I here. I see it in the book, but my EMF is not going off. Oh, there it goes. I don't see an orb are around you here? this section. Five again. Okay. Where are you? Um, could somebody else please confirm that there are no orbs in their vision? Where are you? I have not seen yes. an orb. Okay, oh, I also have not seen one. And okay. have we and still not seen where any are you? objects? Oh, I there's an orb. A... There's an orb at your feet. Oh, oh are you here? sneaky orb? There is a sneaky orb right Good there. Good catch. Hiding under the doors. This is why it helps to have multiple people confirm that, because oh. that will happen. I am going to go into the house and pick up all the stuff because Raiju and Onaroi are our two options. Yep, yeah, so Very the one ghost nice. we talked about earlier that we can't use the motion sensors and stuff on, that would be the Raiju. The Raiju siphons power. If you have the power on in the house, it will siphon that and regenerate health. If you have your own equipment out and about, we have a footprint. Nice. Um, that's an Onaroi. Onaroi. Thankfully, uh, we don't have a Raiju. But yeah, any equipment and the uh, Wonder Roy did hit the box though, so I'm gonna turn the power back off. But yeah, the crafting Raiju, you need all the equipment up and like basically anything you could have that would be electric, you want it out. As otherwise it will regen health and you will be fighting it for a while. Are you friendly? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay, Are you friendly? Are we leaning residual? Okay, uh, let's go with residual to start. Uh, you want to choke point nice. it here in the door step to the garage? I am not like right opposed here, to think? that. Yeah, it keeps walking back and oh, forth around shit. the door. Well, fine. It goes double spinny because we did that. It's a fun glitch. That's even better. Oh, well, residual it is. Yeah, it's definitely residual and we made it go super fast. And I'm going to watch the rest of this walkway, so if it tries to run down here without touching there, okay, I'm it'll... Gonna cross uh, past real quick so i'm gonna yep. run Got so it. i'll be staying at the garage door went from 17 to 19 very quickly on me just running past it also just drew somewhere i heard it writing are you here yeah i heard that where are you potentially spawned in the kitchen are you here okay come on come stand in one of these where are you hello are you here where are you 
You can also see we have like are you voice here? text. We can use auto text. Where are you? Voice chat is not as important in this as it is in are Phasmo. Are you here? Or Phasmophobia, I should Where say. Where are you? And you more rely on these automatic texts. The green ones are generally can you safe make a to noise? use. They don't anger the ghost too much. They're just there to Where get are you? interactions and slightly increase activity. Are you then here? Then you get to yellow. Oh, then oh ate it. Ooh. That's oh, unfortunate. Oh, game just crashed. Oh. Yeah, I'll just hop in the lobby at the uh, between rounds because you got this. Crap. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, keep going then. Um, you are definitely. And it turned the power still, on. So oh, oh, oh! Nice. We got it. Go, go, All go! Right. Oh man! Yep, we'll load you back in after this. That can happen as well. And yeah, we're running in. I was worried more issues were gonna happen and after that. We will start the bike and move on to the next map. For the record, this is the first time I've ever seen this game crash. Yeah, I, that is yeah. A, extreme rarity. I've not seen that much either. This is actually a surprisingly stable game. For right, a just one let me know when the project. lobby is open. Yep, we'll do. Okay, I've unlocked the lobby. You're free to rejoin. In this game, it's less important if someone disconnects. In Phasmo, someone can... Or Phasmophobia, someone can bring gear and disconnect, and you can use that as a way to, like scam free items mm. and not worry but in this it's just not that big of a deal because you don't have to pay for the items anyway yeah all like the that. items are essentially free you do lose money if you get killed or like you lose enough health that you're extracted from the location which is the big risk here because if you don't know how to handle the ghost when it gets really angry you will lose a lot of money in standing with the different organizations, which we don't even cover because there's three different merchants you work with. You do more missions for them, you get more access to cool stuff like entities and maps and stuff that we've already have because I'll we've check upstairs. pleased every one of them. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Thank you, Bunch. Yep. I'm not seeing anything of a note on the side of the house or in the pizza terrace. Yep. Sounds good. Pizza, pizza terrace. terrace. In the pizza terrace? The Forever shall be known. Yep. Oh, something got hit and sound like the kitchen there. I'm gonna confirm it sound out here. Yeah, it sounded like kitchen or living room. Yeah, uh, there are two marks in the kitchen area. We have an orb in the running. kitchen, and orb the sink is the running kitchen. correct. EMF three and EMF two uh... Yep. It On is doing a lot of activity oh. here. Knock the glass over. So that orb confirms Pretty handily, it's got to be in the kitchen. We're going to mark down orb. Yeah, orbs can wander, but they mm -hmm. generally don't wander much, and they always return to the uh, the point of origin. Yeah, they're pretty reliable in this compared to other hunting games where they can be kind of unreliable or very strange at times. This one, it just it's a single little orb that just hovers around. I am in the basement. There is cursed wine. Cursed swine. Thank you, cursed nice. object. Nice. Already down to so, three. Like we said earlier, it's uh, when you see a glowing white object like the hard hat I saw earlier. In this case, it's a wine bottle down in the basement further down. Um, the book's also down there, so Cat will ooh, be bringing ooh, ooh. that up. Are you hear writing? Yeah, I, I heard, heard that. writing as well. I'm going to turn me. off my night vision. I don't need that anymore. Oh, it drew? Oh, drew. Yes. Okay, oh, yep, there's a drawing, all right. That's a creepy one. Got a shapeshifter. And that is, yep, that's a shapeshifter. That's a pretty quick one. Um, let's start with residual. That's kind of the good catch-all until we're proven otherwise. Vengeful will attack early, and Lost will do a big, scary, jump-scare grab on you. So residual is kind of the safe bet oh, if man, you don't get any this. of that. So I'm going to choke point this front door here. I'm Where did it drop? Outside. It drew outside. Oh, hell. Vision of hell? Okay. I've seen a vision of hell all night. Yeah, a right. A vision of hell is when a painting starts to look haunted. Only residual and only vengeful can do that. So that narrows it down to two types of behavior. There, every ghost has a type of ghost it is, what and are then you a doing behavior here? of it. You know, where are you? It's kind of mood, if you will. Are you here? It's spinning. It is residual. That spinning confirms we have the right mood, we have the right type of ghost, behavior type of ghost, however you want to put that. We got the combination correct. So between 15 entities 
in three behaviors, you basically have 45 possible combinations. You gotta narrow that down. You don't have to be perfect about it to get rid of the ghost, but getting the ghost type right is almost a must. Nice! A, that sound indicates the ghost is already dead. I didn't even get to see that one. That's perfect. I put a motion sensor in the kitchen and it crept it. Just took a shot into it. Again, using news. motion sensors to kind of determine where the ghost is, super important. It will be the difference between being confused and waiting for the ghost to do something until it eventually attacks and takes Let's you go. out. We're flying through them. And em. kind of getting the jump on it. So we're moving on to the final map now. This is an unlockable medium map, the Fergus case. A couple of maps you have to buy in this game. We're, we have them already purchased. You just have to play the game a fair amount and be successful and raise your standing with some of the secret society vendors. Which and once you um, play the game once a lot. you unlock difficulties, you start to get a lot of experience and money for things, so you end so up being able money. to afford these pretty quickly. Yeah, money is earned by how many entities you have unlocked and what difficulty you're playing on. The more Some entities you have, left. the harder it is. The more Up difficulty upstairs. you add, the harder it is. Sounds good. As you've surmised, probably watching this, uh, the three of us generally have opening plays for each level. Yeah. Uh, we play enough together that we know like okay on fergus i'm going to the left uh punch is going upstairs and trace is going in the basement right i usually for fergus i'm the one who shuts down the breaker because also i know we're to look for a lot of cursed objects down here too so i like to keep an eye out for them well it works out in this case i've just found blood and that's it yep and my uh my journey to the backyard also gets me to the back door of the house which is where the uh the book is Right, and carrying that in is, yet. again, super important, gets us a lot of factoids. Can tell us where the ghost room is, potentially. The ghost can write that down. That's very Blocks important. are in the attic, if we need awesome. that. Zero you. activity. Still at zero, nice. Yeah, once I see a global activity hit one, I'm going to take a quick look around on my EMF reader, because it hopefully can direct us to where something uh, something happened. I'm going to move the book closer to the staircase because that's a pretty good choke point. Yep. And my strat is not a guarantee, but you're trying to use everything at your disposal to try to narrow this down as quickly as possible. Exactly that. Like, If we miss interactions with the environment, that's a chance we miss EMF, we miss fingy prints, we miss stuff that would be really useful to narrow down the ghost very quickly. How and that's very easy quiet? to do. Don't be quiet, do stuff. Indeed, it is being absolutely timid. I'm surprised. Hey, back door and basement steps have Are motion you sensors and there's nothing happening. Are you okay. here? Activity's still a zero. Yeah, this do we is have weird. A Where are you? Motion sensor in the hallway up here? I mean, no, uh, we don't. We have a free motion sensor, I should have asked. I'm going to use that for the hallway up there because. Where are you? I Sounds found great. that this house. The upper hallway is a good place for the ghost to run back and forth if it exists up here. There we go. We're at that two said, activity. All right. Sweet. Thank you for that. I don't see any I orbs. See I don't see any cursed objects. So I'm oh, going it closed the door. Or was that someone else? Okay. I closed the door upstairs. Dang it. I was getting excited. Okay. I was like, it finally did something. So I'm unfortunately with, uh... not trace on the there's no activity going on in this house or uh, no orb no cursed objects as far as i could tell i've been down in the basement but we're pretty thorough so that's kind of like our big opening play those two evidences help so us weird. really set the stage for what we need to do next and what we need to look out for it takes the 15 entities and usually puts them down to about four or five sometimes three if we're very lucky Usually by this time, the ghost is doing something on its own. Yeah, this is weird. I'll check basement again or something. This is... He yeah, hasn't checked any... I do have a motion sensor down in basement, so if you see one go off, that is the basement sensor. Now, the clock you just heard oh, there, uh, sensor the three goal. went off. That's the nice. one in the hallway upstairs. Upstairs hallway. Okay. Um, the clock going off is not an actual haunting. That is not a sign of the ghost doing anything. It's just a clock being a jerk. Yeah, that clock is rude. I don't want it to it, be my turf. In some patches, it has gone off like as soon as you walk by it every time. It's a real jerk. 
So we don't know where the ghost is yet. I'm gonna oh, put on night vision. We just vision. got a sent we just got a, a hit on something activity. Uh, slightly to my left and up forward, like around with punches. I'm not okay, picking up okay. anything. I can go I'm up in the attic. I'm also not picking up anything. It might be downstairs. It's directly where I am. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I am not seeing anything on my EMF here. I have one thing. It is. It's it is... old activity at this point. But... Yeah. Do oh, we... I got EMF three, and it opened the front door for me. Did there we go. Got you. I have EMF. It's writing oh. in the book. Okay, nice. so that's what I heard the writing for. Cool. I don't know what it did here, but I did get EMF three. Oh, EMF two on the door. Okay, cool. Please tell me there's fingerprints. Taking a picture. Okay, it is the door. EMF five randomly. Prints. EMF on five the book. on the book. And fingies. And we can briefly see fingerprints on the book there. You see them yep. right there. So, and we have garden as the room. That explains why we're not getting much activity. Ah. Oh. Um, so with no orb or curse object, we need to confirm this because the garden is outside. I hear writing downstairs. Yep. As well, pick up the electronics that are upstairs. Yep. Oh. We are in uh, Raju territory. Are we? No orb, no curse object, EMF 5 and thingies? Oh, I didn't I didn't cross those two out. Oh, okay, you know, okay, never mind. Cap very afraid. Um, I, well, hold the phone on that because if it is the garden, we might need to revisit whether or not we have uh, an orb. Yeah, I heard writing somewhere. I can't find anything. So did I. I will look around. Okay, I'll look for the orb. Oh, yeah, if you want to look outside for the orb, because, yeah, generally until we see where it is in the garden, we don't know for sure, and we don't really... We kind of write off the outside until we actually have to go out there and visit it. Until we have to go out there. Yeah, because it's such a pain in the butt. Um, I don't see anything in the basement, so... I'm not yeah, seeing an orb. Wherever the writing is, must have been... Hmm. Outer wall, maybe? Yeah, we are between... You don't mind me checking. We're gonna get drawings guaranteed because we don't have orb cursed objects that gives us fingerprints and drawing guaranteed. Voices or laser are what we need to look for. Are you here? Are you here? That's just good old deduction working there. So are you here? You can see we're setting up out Where here. Where are you? Are you here? Hopefully we can find some smoldering. It could be in a lot of places. Are you here? Out here. Oh, oh, that's next to there's me. There's the ghost. That's yeah. four. Oh, nice. And we've just blasted. Are you here? So you might see us use different weaponry you through this game to help dispel or Where exercise the ghost. The shotgun's kind of the final weapon Where you are use. You? you load it with special ammo and blast the ghost. Where are you? The other two options we have are the pistol and the burning flash. The pistol is a solo weapon. The drawback to it is, well, yes, you have your own 10 bolts to work with. You can shoot your teammates and hurt them. Are you here? <laughs> that happens the, occasionally. Are you here? Yeah, and that is part of your group health. Oh, oh we dots, have a laser dots. sight right there. That's, yeah, that's LSS. It's an Ifrit. Where are you? All right, so I'm going to say residual, given that we've gotten a whole lot of nothing here. Um, I don't know where we want to set up our rune. Oh, Sounds God. Good. Yeah, that's we're in an awkward spot. Where are you? I might just drop it out here or front steps. I'm not sure which would be better. I've got my little shotgun alley here on the side, but with that in mind, I'm gonna put one rune here and just kind of hope it walks across this direction because it did okay. stop there when it was uh, okay. harassing. Ooh. Punch. Oh. Yep. I missed it there. That. Confirmed, that's though. That gray silhouette, that is indeed residual. We have the right rune down. We have the right ghost type. Residual, oh, Ifrit, we just it. have to find are it you and here? hit it now. And hopefully get it in the room. Where are you? Oh, it's in the nice. Room. Let it spin for a second. Go for it. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. I think that so room spot was good. So you let it spin good. because when you have the right rune and it's spinning like that, it's losing hit points. So it's best to let it kind of soak in there for a minute and do its own spinny. Are you here? And then you can hit it with the shotgun for an extra What are you damage. doing here? It's just efficient. Where are basically. you? Are you here? And now Where are you? Punch is currently using voice lines to try and antagonize it back to walking towards her. Nice! Alright, let's and go. And that's the run right there. 
I've shot my motorcycle because I've been your trigger finger. Because why not? That's why. And we did that run in 38 minutes and 23 seconds. That's a pretty standard run. Alternatives to the strats that we used, we could have just tried to incite a hunt. That is a very dangerous strategy, especially when That's the true. ghost can spawn anywhere outside.